Welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is Jobber series number two, which is setting up Jobber for your business. I'm gonna teach you guys everything you need to know how to set up Jobber and optimize it for your business success. Let's get started. If you have any questions make sure to throw them down in the comment section because i'll either make a youtube video answer it in TikToks, or respond directly to that comment i appreciate your guys support and i love to see you guys getting after it so keep up those questions if you don't have any questions you can always like and subscribe to the video support the channel i truly appreciate that so next thing i'm going to mention last thing i'll mention before we get into things here is i'm going to put my jobber link down below if you click on that you'll get a discount for six months as well as a free trial so make sure to take advantage of that because honestly you need jobber if you want to take your business to the next level so what you're going to do to set up your jobber account first off you're going to click the link in the bio to start your free trial and then the first thing you're going to do is go over to your settings so in your settings here i'd always like to i always recommend starting at the top and working your way down so on your company settings, you're going to be putting your company's name, your phone number, email, website, your billing address, the hours of operation, and all your tax settings here. And that's very self-explanatory. Just take a second to set that up. You guys don't need any help for that. The next thing would be your branding, which is crucial in becoming a successful company is having great branding. So as you can see here, we put our logo in, and then you can see what your PDF style would look like. You can also attach all of your social media channels. So I'll zoom in, just keep it simple. This is what our quotes would look like when they're sent via email. Um, so yeah, just throw your logo in there nice and quick and then you can change your PDF style. But I like going with this one right here, which is the modern settings. And then products and services. In here, you can preload all of your products and services with pricing. So on here, this is not gonna show our pricing, but you could put in $200 and update it. And then it's always gonna be a $200 flat rate. Just add all your services in here. That way it's click and it's ready to go. Custom fields, this is another awesome tool that you guys can use. So on your job or custom fields, what you can do is you can create these to track throughout the customer journey, just to see like the lead source, where did they come from? Who made that sale? You can also track property custom fields, the lead source, job sources, anything like this. You can just track all of your custom details on your clients that will help you know where they're coming from or who sold them. That way you can always keep good data on your customers. Next thing would be your job or payments. So on here, it just takes a second to set up, but it's definitely worth it because as you can see here, it will send you payment notifications. It will automatically just go directly to your bank account straight from job or payments, which is incredible. Expense tracking, again, you can create your own accounting codes. We don't bother doing any of those. If you guys are really into that, you can. Um, just another tool that you can use to keep organized. So now we'll go into our team organization here. So on here, what you can do is you can add all of your team members. So what you do is here, you can click on myself. I'll have my personal profile, my address, all of this sort of stuff. So you can just add your team and manage them in here. The next thing we're gonna look at here is your work settings. So what you can do here is you can set up all of your automated reminders. So on quotes, you can set a reminder. So add a reminder to your calendar to check in on quotes that you haven't heard back on in three days. That way you're following up on those leads because following up on your leads is crucial to making good sales. Um, and you, here you can create all of your invoice reminders. Calendar, and again, we're going to do a more in-depth video on this. I mentioned that in my last video, but this is a vi this calendar settings is something I want to do a full in-depth breakdown on. But you can see here, you can assign a color to a worker. So let's say I want to make sure that every time I'm working, it's going to be pink. Okay, so bang. So now anytime I book a job as Adam Chapman, it's going to come up pink. So the next thing here is job reforms, which I'll have to do another full in-depth video on, but job reforms is incredible. If you have guys working for you, you need job reforms. I'll just pull this one up really quick to show you guys, but as you can see here, it's our Christmas light form. In my last video, you briefly saw that, but as you can see here, I custom created this form. So when the guys are doing each job, they go in and simply fill it in. Was there a wreath? Yes or no. Was there a timer? Yes or no. How many lights do we use? Every single thing you need to know. And I recommend creating those for each different service you offer. That way you're storing, staying organized. The next section, which is the client communications. So Client Hub is awesome. It gives you a general overview. You can have your requiring a signature for clients to approve their quotes directly through the email. Um, you can see what your clients are allowed to log in to see on their dashboard. Um, you can have them requ request changes, book their appointments. 
You can also share in your their login page so they can go in and see jobs that have been done in the past. Client Hub is a great place for your clients to have access and see what's going on with their own property and when work's coming up. The next thing, which again, I'm gonna have to do a full video on this because there's so many capabilities, but is your templates. So you can customize everything. So I'll just pull the quotes up really quick. You can change this. So this is what my email would send like, hey, Natasha, thank you for your quote. And you can also send a text message. But again, I will go more in depth into this because this is an incredible feature on Jobber that I feel like a lot of people aren't utilizing properly. The next thing would be your notifications. And what this is, is just your general, what kind of notifications do you want to send your clients? So right now, as you can see here, we have quote follow-ups. So let's say we send a quote on the Monday, they don't answer. On Wednesday, it's going to send them a text message saying, hey, do you have any questions about your quote? And then on the Friday, it's going to send them an email saying, hey, it's Adam. Do you still want to proceed with the quote? You'd be shocked at how many quotes get signed after the second and third attempt. So I definitely recommend having your quote follow-ups on. And again, you can have your invoice follow-ups and all of that. But currently, we have those turned off just because we're in the off season. The next thing would be your request page, which again, you can customize your form however you'd like. And then that would live on your website for clients to, uh, for clients to request quotes. And then these things are optional, but we use them. So we have connected our QuickBooks uh, linked to our, is, is linked to our, our jobbers linked to our QuickBooks. So my accountant can go on there really quickly and see the numbers of the business. And then we also use the MailChimp integration, which again, I will be showing you guys fully in depth on a video because this is an extremely powerful tool that I feel like a lot of people aren't using properly. But what you can do is connect your MailChimp account and send out all of your automated campaign. So there you have it. That's just a brief overview of setting up Jobber for success. Because I recommend that you guys start at the top and work your way down and customize Jobber to suit your business. As always, guys, make sure to ask your comment, ask your questions in the comments because you know I will answer those, whether it's in a YouTube video or a TikTok or by directly responding. And if you want to try Jobber out for free, as well as get a discount in your first six months, Click the link below and I'll see you in the next episode when we're learning how to create quotes.